over and have a have a swig of this okay. uh, Hawaiian style pale ale. Uh, uh, Glenn and Justin are here from Must uh, Wine Bar. How are you? Excellent, very good. Good to have you here. Good Thank beer. You. It's Justin's uh, first time on television, eh? The first nervous? time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm no, good. Yeah, don't worry about it. Yep. Um, it's right around the corner, eh, Glenn? It is. Yeah, we're neighbors. Yeah. Yes. So it's just over here by Vittoria Trattoria? Yeah, right beside Vittoria. Right. Yeah, there we're on our fourth year now yeah. as well, too. What yeah. happens in there? Uh, we do a lot of cool things, actually. Yeah. Uh, a couple of things we're going to be doing uh, today is we're, uh, we're going to be working with some Spearhead Beer, which is a, a company from uh, the Toronto area. Right. Uh, and it's a, is this uh, a Hawaii-style pale ale? Thing? It is, yeah. So it's, uh, it's uh, pineapple-infused, so cheers, very cheers. nice beer. Mm. Enjoy. So we're going to be doing a couple of things with this one today is we're going to be cooking with it, and then uh, if we're going to be doing a dish, it's going to be paired with it. That's nice. That's delightful. Nice. I know. That's, wow. And delightful is a good word for it. Mm -hmm. hey? <laughs> and wait till you try it in the food. Okay, so it's going to be in the food. Yeah. All right, what are you all making, right. Justin? What are you doing? Well, first off, we're going to be making the spearhead mussels. All okay. right. So, got my pan nice and hot there. We're going to start with some garlic. Oh, nice. Okay. Got that nice sizzle. Yeah. Onion. Right. Now, seeing the beer it has pineapple in it, we're going to throw some fresh pineapple in there. Oh, okay. okay. There. Bring out the flavors. Oh, you spearhead better believe beer, it. It's named you it's better spearhead. believe it. All right, then we're going to throw some cayenne in there. Spice it up a little bit. Look at them go. All right, we're good to go. We're going to throw the mussels in now. Okay. Fresh PEI mussels. Naturally. Naturally. Just came out of the water today. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Possibly. Maybe. <laughs> All right, so we got that going. I'm going to put a little bit of butter in there. Right. Not bad plan. All right. Look at I am. I'm going to grab one of these glasses. Back up. <laughs> for a little deglazing action. Oh, okay. Oh, in goes oh. the beer. Hear yeah, that. It's important to have the pan Beautiful. really hot, right? Oh, very, very hot. You always want to start with a hot pan. Okay. okay. Now, season bit. Yeah. Pepper in there. And this is going to be on your Valentine's menu, uh, Glenn? It will be, yes. Okay. You know, uh, yes. now, put a cover on that. Okay, Let that sit for a few minutes. Okay. Now, okay. we're okay. going to get going on. Yeah, what's going on polenta now? Polenta poutine. It's a the must poutine. Which will be featured. Aren't you glad you stuck around? I sure am. Yeah. I'm glad too. <laughs> so this will be featured on our Valentine's menu, actually. Okay. So we're just gonna start. Can I turn that off now? You can turn that okay, off. Okay, good. So we'll start by plating this. So these are actually polenta fries. So what oh, I've done wow. is I've uh, pre-fried them, and I'm just reheating them right now. Okay. Come on there. Go there. Oh, see, starting to shake a little bit. Right, right. It's yeah. all good. Breathe. It's okay, buddy. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> there it is. Look at that. All nice right. presentation. Yeah, very nice. Presentation is key. All right, and we got some double smoked bacon going on that too. Everything's better with bacon. <laughs> Everything is better with bacon, you know it. And yeah. double smoked. Double smoked, the Love only it. way to go. Yeah. Love it. Oh, all over the place. All right, That's I'm just right. gonna toss this down here. Right. Now, I'm going to put some bocaccini on it. Bocaccini on bocaccini. that? Bocaccini. Very mild cheese, it goes very nice. You want but to be able cool. to- it's cool, it's cool cheese. really wanted to be able to taste the definition of the polenta. Okay. All right, get mm. that out of there. And now we're going to top it with some of my tomato gravy. This is what makes it Tomato good gravy? Thing. Tomato gravy, if you can believe it. How do you make tomato gravy, Justin? How do you make tomato gravy? Well, yeah. you start with sauteing a little bit of onion, some garlic, and some fresh tomato, of course. Mm -hmm. Deglazed with some red wine. And then I finish it with tomato juice. A little bit of butter, reduce it down a little while. There's a lot while. of deglazing that goes on. Oh, there it is. And okay. it has to be hot as well, yeah? Oh, There's a whole yes, lot less sir. glazing than deglazing. You, you want to melt that cheese? Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful. What are you talking about over there with the glazing? I'm just right? saying these days there's more deglazing so, than actual glazing. Uh, there is. Yeah. So right here we've got our must poutine, which will be featured on our oh, Valentine's menu. Beautiful. Oh, delicious. Fork, Listen, if you'd I? like to try, yes. Grab Which a fork. one is the right fork? Uh, well, the <laughs> big one. It's not uh, this you one. You can use it? a little mini one Come if you on. like. Look at this thing. Whatever suits your fancy, right? No, I'll no. use the big one. No, I'll go with the man, go man, the fork. man size I'm fork. Gonna take a look right. at these muscles. Oh, yeah, they're looking beautiful. All right, so now what I'm going to do, <laughs> bacon. that out of the way. I'm going to finish on. with a little fresh pineapple juice. I got a lot of bacon in a while. Nothing wrong with that. All right. How's that? You're going to like it. I promise. Now, for the cool plating, here we go. That tomato gravy is unbelievably oh good. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm gonna sneak in good. here. Now, we work with pineapple beer. Right. Fresh pineapple. Don't, don't tell me you're gonna put why it. Why don't in we there. plate it in a real pineapple? Well, that's a great idea. Sounds good oh to me. Oh my god, that's good. It's really good. I like oh. tomato gravy. We'll just throw some of these bad boys in here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look, you've cooked them to perfection. Oh my god. The little fork is for the mussels, you that's see. Right. Oh, that's right. The so you know what? You know why I didn't know that? Why? Because I don't eat mussels. Oh. You don't eat mussels. I'm well, gonna try it. I'm gonna try though. You should. Are you actually gonna I try a muscle? Of course. Live on television. And now, yeah. and now <laughs> the finishing touch. 
Wait, it's we'll just over. put some of the it's juice over it. Some, some juice oh, in the empty like pineapple. Oh, 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 oh beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. Beautiful. My gosh. All right, what else, you, what else you got going on uh, on uh, Valentine's? I noticed this is just uh, the beginnings, right? What else is happening? These are, yeah, these are just the beginnings. We have a, uh, we got a four course, uh, four course menu that, uh, that we're going to be having on there. So we got some really cool things. We have a, uh, we have a uh, duck breast that we're going to be serving. We have uh, uh, <laughs> roasted chicken. Roasted chicken also as well, too. So. Oh, Starting yeah. off, first course is going to be the soup course. And then second That's course, the choice between a risotto or this right here, the plate de poutine. Or as we like to call it, the must poutine. Right. Correct. <laughs> Copyright. And then uh, fourth choice. Uh, I've already s talked about the mains. Fourth choice is just a sh chef selection of desserts that we'll have set up. So yeah. I can taste the cayenne in there. It's really okay. good. The flavor is delicious. Yeah, they're just bounce, right? Right. Bounce perfect. right off the palate. Tender, Beautiful. tender. That is delicious. Yeah. I love how it's presented too. That's really cool. Yes. When it comes to your table like that, it would. Wow. <laughs> nice. That's how. That's how. Yeah. Oh. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. All right, now tell me about this uh, this beer. This is uh, a beer company out of where? Out of uh, out of Toronto. Right. Uh, so really, it's a microbrewery. Uh, it is, yeah. And these guys, uh, they just do the one beer, uh, and they do it fantastic. Uh, these guys are uh, are um, amazing when it comes to customer support, service, and that kind of stuff as well. So they just started getting into Ottawa. There's maybe about a handful of uh, places in Ottawa that carry it right now. And uh, when we saw this beer, I mean, as just as much as we are a wine bar, we uh, we like to take a lot of pride in our beer as yeah. well too. So having really cool beers is is fantastic to have. So with the pineapple infused uh, pale ale like that, it's it's a, like it's summer a in a glass. To be honest, exactly. it really is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's really, it's really is great delicious. Beer. That would yeah. be unbelievable in the summer. It's delicious in the winter. Yeah, yeah. but on a hot summer day, yeah. that's a beer. Oh, so absolutely. you're pretty selective yeah. about bringing beer into into your. Well, definitely, yeah. I mean, yeah. we have uh, you know the other lines of beer that we have. We don't carry the traditional uh, you know the traditional Molson or uh, Labatt products. So you know, right. we have Sapporo, we got Okanagan fifteen sixteen. We try to stay all within Canada. Sapporo is one of my favorite. That's the only one that's not from Canada, but mm -hmm. that's that's a favorite of mine. Yeah. Um, so uh, you know, we have Steam Whistle, we have uh, Kitchisippi, which is uh, oh, a brewing company yummy. as well too. So I mean, uh, you know, we try to try to support uh, try to support the locals and try to keep everything within mm -hmm. uh, Canada. As well what about uh, what about wines and things, Glenn? What else happens inside your uh, definitely restaurant? lots of wines. We uh, we have a uh, nematomatic machine, which is a wine preservation system, uh, which works really well. So really? anybody that uh, goes into a restaurant and uh, you know anything over fifty dollars a bottle of wine you have to buy the whole bottle so this en enables me to uh, to keep the wine preserved for up to about 30 days and what it, uh, you can actually buy it by the glass so I can have a really nice you wine can have by a the really glass. nice that's yeah, very rare. exactly wow. so so that's uh, that's kind of fun too with the uh, the menu that we have on Valentine's Day as well too we also have a, a wine pairing menu so uh, so we've actually paired off uh, perfect wines that go perfect with the food. That's you want the people uh, people to make reservations? Absolutely, yeah. For Valentine's yeah, Day? Yeah, definitely. You can, uh, you can uh, give us a call. Get mm -hmm. in there. And uh, you'll visit our website as well, too. That's why the tiny fork. Eh? So, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Come on, big boy. So uh, <laughs> and that's why the buzz on the street about must is so good. Obviously, uh, you get to have this really wide good. range of great wines, good pairings, and fresh Delicious food. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, it's a, it's a lot of work uh, keeping everything fresh, but uh, we have a very, very small freezer, and that's pretty much it. Every, right. We go out shopping probably four or five times a week. Wow. So everything that you get at uh, yeah. Must is a, it's a fresh product. I like a yeah, must poutine. I, oh. It tells you. You must you eat must. it. You, you must. You, must. you have no choice <laughs> about it. <laughs> you must. <laughs> so, uh, thanks for coming by. Thank, Thank you. Nice to meet you. Great Great job. Job. Thanks, man. Thank you very much. Thank you. These right. are, these are you delicious. delicious. Uh, what did you think of the muscle? I actually... No, no, honestly. Well, are you going to eat another muscle? I will eat another muscle. I'm not sure about the texture, but the flavor was unbelievable. That's the thing about muscles. You can get by the texture. The flavor is beautiful, you mm -hmm. see. Well, that's the thing, yeah. yeah. That's for sure. And you uh, know what? I have a bit of a hang-up about muscles mm. as well, too. So, you know. <laughs> yeah. Like, like these muscles, I just wish I had more. <laughs> 9.54, we'll be back. <laughs>